Welcome to Sea Eagles TV. I'm Graham Mapri and we're here at Bill Albury Oval here for the second edition of the Legends versus First Grade Players. Last season, after a great success, we've come back here again to watch past players take on the current First Grade boys. Behind me here, we've got our newly appointed women's second grade side playing for the first time at our club in over 10 years against a group of young guys from our under 12, under 13 who've come from the Wynnum Junior section of the Wynnum District Cricket Club. We've got five junior cricket clubs within our district, including Holland Park, Wynnum itself, Carina, Bulimba, and Mansfield. Back onto the main game for today, the legends full of fantastic past players like Scotty Presswich and his other Queensland compatriots, life members like Michael Dan and other strong players like Benny Lachlan and the like are here to take on the might of the current side, the first grade boys from Wynnum Manly District Cricket Club who include Queensland players Peter George, Alistair McDermott, Jason Floros and Indigenous player Cameron Trask who recently earned himself a Queensland Bulls practice match game against South Australia, all involved here in a massive game culminating in what we hope to be a continual event going on for many years to come. We're excited to see them all out here again on Bill Aubrey Oval for the second season in a row. OK, we're here with Alistair McDermott, the current uh, Sydney Thunder uh, squad member. He's uh, been opening the bowling for Winner Manly first grade for a number of years now and excited about playing in the Legends Day today. Ali, what are your thoughts about the seasons coming up? Um, you know, I think it's going to be a real positive season for us. You know, we've had a few changes throughout the off-season, a few members leaving us. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a good, uh, good test of our depth this year. And, you know, from the season, from the pre-season games that we've had and some training, you know, I'm pretty positive that it'll be a good year for us. And your own game, mate, uh, watching you go against Sandgate yesterday in a pre-season game, it looked like they were coming out well. And uh, to be brutally honest, hitting a good ball as well with the bat? Yeah, trying to slog a few, which is always nice. Um, but, yeah, personally with bowling, I was pretty happy with that yesterday. Um, last year was a, a bit of a struggle for my, myself to juggle um, training uh, last year with work. Uh, but this year I feel like I've got the right balance and know exactly what I need to do to prepare for games. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the season coming. Excellent. A couple of new boys in and around the club, obviously, and it uh, seems like the boys are knitting really well together. New club coach, a uh, little bit of new direction, but there's a lot of uh, same fa faces around that uh, we're expecting to do really well. So uh, which ones of the boys do you think are you really looking to this season have a big season? Um, yeah, no, it would be really good to, uh, to see one of the young boys put their hand up. Um, like you said, we've had a few changes, a few personnel changes, especially in the, in the ones team with Ryan Broad and Sean Pearce sort of leaving us last year. So I think it would be really good to get one of the young boys in and make sure they put their, their um, step their foot in and get, get a few runs on the board or take a few wickets. So, you know, because that's something that we really need this year for the young guys to step up because, um, you know, we've struggled in certain aspects of our, of our game last year, especially with consistency, whether it was with bat or ball. So, you know, hopefully one of the young boys can step up for us. OK, and finally, uh, what about the opposition today? Who's, who's the one we've got to be looking at? with respect to bat and or ball? Um, well, with bat, I'd say Ryan Broad, um, if he shows up soon. Um, and I would have said Ben Lachlan, but he's not bowling now. So um, I know we might see yourself out there on the paddock. We can't be struggling that much. Thanks, <laughs> Ali. Really good to have you back again for another season. Really keen to see you do well, mate. And good luck today. Right, we're here with Mandy Morrison, the captain of the newly appointed second grade women's side that we've brought back after about a decade without women playing in the senior format of our cricket club here. Uh, she's just come off a pre-season practice match before the Legends game where they've had a fantastic success in and amongst uh, some young junior cricketers from Wynnum Juniors. So Mandy's here and she's had a varying sort of day today, but uh, I'm sure she's very happy about what she's seen out on the park. What do you reckon about the girls' efforts today, Mandy? Oh, look, I think they're absolutely amazing. And uh, we've got some really good talent in here, Mappers. Um, obviously, you know, we've got a tough season ahead building up from um, scratch. But I think if we dig the foundations deep, we'll get pretty far, I reckon. You obviously know what works and what doesn't. So what do you think the main ingredients that we have or haven't got here at the moment are to be able to build those foundations for the seasons to come? I definitely think uh, the main thing that we've got, and that's a core ingredient, is the support from yourself and from the club committee and our um, seniors. That's obviously something that uh, in the past probably didn't work so well, but I think we've got that down to a T now and you know all the hard work that you've put in pre-season to get all these girls together is what's going to pull us through. 
fantastic. I really appreciate the kind words, but I really think that all the efforts that have been going in, not only for myself, but throughout the club, should show us in good stead. We've got some great talent amongst some of the girls. Some are a little bit younger than others, but uh, I know a number of them have been picked in state squads yep. and Med East teams for schools. So I think we've got a mixture of very good girls with some other support crew. I heard there might even be a, a bit of a nasty rumour that Julia Price might be gracing the field for us at some <laughs> stage this season. Well, I'm really hoping that I can get Julia up from Tassie at one stage to come and join us just for a friendly match and hopefully some of our other pre-season um, players. So we'll see how we go on that one. Wonderful. Thanks for your time today and uh, well done on your efforts. Thank you. Put your thumb that. behind that. Yeah. Knock it in there and just push up. That's it. Oh, well, that's a little to go ahead. Oh. There you oh, go. That's that's we'll have, we'll good. have a bowl, eh? Oh, right, nice. you pick it up. <laughs> All right, best of luck. So after the coin toss, we're here with the Legends captain, Ryan Broad, after being the first grade captain last year. Ryan, you're back here and you've decided to bowl. What's your thoughts on uh, not only the day, your team, but why you've decided to have a bowl? Uh, well, I think this early in the season, you, you never really know how the, how the wickets are going. Looks like there's a little bit of grass on it. Might be a bit fluffy and um, to get first use of it, I, I think uh, might give us a bit of knowledge for when we have a bat. Fantastic and great to have you on the other side of the fence, mate, coming back in your true position as a true legend of this club. <laughs> what about the team that you're putting out today? Some of the boys ready and keen to prove that they've still got it? I think so. We've got a few blokes in there with a, with a bit of pride on the line for, in a day like today and uh, you never know what the result could be. We won't be taking any prisoners and if we can, if we can uh, bloody a few noses out here today, that would be fantastic. Great stuff, mate. I'm sure you'll bat well and we're looking forward to seeing you do your best with both bat and ball, hopefully. Thanks, knock, knock a few of the boys over, eh? Cheers, mate. Well Thanks, done. Mate. Well done on uh, setting the day up again today. It's looking pretty good. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. So now moving on to Nathan Rabnot, the captain of the first grade, newly appointed first grade captain for this season, 2016 and 17. Nath, uh, I know you've put your heart and soul into not only the cricket but the whole complex over the off season and and into the season proper. Now, Are you excited about what's coming forward for us? Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. A lot of a lot of young fellows coming through and. Uh, Excited to lead the club and hopefully, you know, improvement on last season. Wonderful. And, mate, um, and one final question. Just want to see Chris O'Hare's taken over as the club coach. He seems to be kicking a lot of goals for us. Fitting in well, is he? Yeah, he's, he's doing uh, really well. Really good organiser and uh, I think we're going in the right direction. Now the guys are ready for action here at Bill Albury Oval. Bring on the game. Umpires for today's game are the club's favourites, Todd O'Rourke and Roger Fryer. Tim Evans coming into bowl to Cameron Trask. Short outside off stump, Trask whacks it over the top of point and away for four. Wonderful shot by Trask, racing into the pickets. Steen Carlson into Trask. Trask another boundary, he started off well here. Two boundaries early in the innings. Christian Poole picking the ball up from the pickets. Evans to Trask. Trask wrapped on the front part, he's a long way down. There's an appeal but under consideration. Oh, Todd O'Rourke's given him. Long way down it looked there to me. Trask not happy but behaving himself very well indeed. As we'll see the replay, there's a big thick inside edge there and hit him right on the flap and Toddy comes up with one of his best. Trasky on the way out. And Steen Carlson now. Carlson to Agnew. Agnew cuts him away. Back with a point, four runs. Batting well, Agnew. He started off extremely well for the first grade side. Christian Poole now. On to Agnew. That's a lovely shot from Agnew. Backward a point. Four runs there, all the way along the carpet. Scotty Presswich now. Presto into Jason Floros. Oh, great pull shot. Floros, shots that we're accustomed from, to from him. Michael Stone's going to have to scale the fence to bring that ball back. Christian Poole into Floros. Floros, cheeky single. Stone on the back stool. Has a ping, hits Floros. Floros, there's a bit of laughter out there. Game played in very good spirits. But that's one for the showers for Flo to inspect later. Christian Poole again. Into Agnew. Agnew dispatches that into the swamp. It's heading, heading. Oh, it's hit the Commonwealth Bank umbrella and come back into play. All fixed fasteners. Very happy to get their sponsors board. Pool, pool to Floros. Lachlan, Lachlan from long off takes the catch comfortably. Very good catch from Benny Lachlan. Expected of a man of his calibre in the field. Let's see the replay now. Floros 
gets a decent piece of it, but just slices underneath it. He knows what's going on. Makes his way off. Floros, a little bit disappointed, but there's plenty of runs in the season for him ahead. Scotty Presswich again. Comes in, Agnew. Agnew slice that one. He's got under it. Christian Poole makes good ground. Excellent ground made by Christian Poole to take that catch. Agnew disappointed. Not the first wicket that Presto's taken on this ground. Wonderful cricketer. Look at that athletic disposition from Presswich. Really looking good there. Christian Poole, no mistake. Agnew making his way off. Lots of runs this season for Agnew. Stone at the bowling crease to Prouse. Short. Oh, Prouse has got underneath that. Fielder comes in. Josh Gertz it is and well held. Stoney will be talking about that for months. See the replay. Stone looking like the old man Laurie at the bowling crease. Prousey, plenty of runs for him this year, but not today. Got underneath that one and well held by Josh Gertz in the outfield. Prousey making his way off. That'll be one to be talked about this season. Stoney getting the bragging rights. Stone again, this time to the first grade captain, Nathan Rabnock. Short, pulls away, Christian Poole dives. Was it a dive? He's, he's almost pulled off what looks to be on first look the catch of the century. Stoney won't be happy. Could have got rid of the first grade captain. Let's have, hang on a second. He hasn't even got off the ground there. Pearly putting on a show though. Ryan Broad to Rabnot. Rabnot works that away for four. Looks like a wonderful. Oh, hang on. The young fella, the 12th man. Riley Devereaux picks up and throw, gets it back in. Well done, Riley. Good work, young fella. Well fielded. Only two for Rabnot there. Broad to Rabnot. Rabnot launches that. Back with a square into the pickets. What a shot. We've seen that numerous times over his illustrious career from Nathan Rabnot. Craig Thomas at the crease to bowl to Rabnot. Rabnot down the ground and dispatches that into the side screen. Gets the treatment it deserves. Benny Lachlan comes around, picks it up and throws it back to Tomo and has, have another go. Thomas again. Rabnot under a full toss. Problem is, Lachlan's making great ground around there again and he's gone. Juicy full bunger that really should have been put into the reeds. Rabnot gets under it and hits it straight down Lachlan's throat. Rabnot has first grade captain, bumper season ahead for him. Christian Poole now. Oh dear, where's that gone? Ali McDermott puts him into the beer garden. A couple of local patrons scratching their head. Oh, someone's popped out to throw it back. Thank you very much. Here we have Tim Evans on the bowl again. What? Hang on a second, that's hit the keeper on the full. Laughter echoing around the grounds. Might have a case of the yips here, Evans. Evans again. In the bowl. He's done it again. You wouldn't read of that sort of thing. Let's get a different bowler on here. Evans making a bit of a goose of himself. Ryan Broad to finish the over. Well, that's not much better, but a dot ball to finish the innings. Very good effort there by first grade, but not surprised that the legends held on and did extremely well for themselves, restricting the first grade boys to a very achievable target. At the conclusion of the first grade innings, we now move on to watch the Legends bat. We've got Ryan Broad and Christian Poole opening the batting for the Legends. McDermott into Ryan Broad. The skipper pulls him away. Lovely shot by Ryan Broad. We're used to seeing that here. Might just trickle in the fence. Alex Melville makes the save and restricts him to two. Well fielded, Alex. A new addition to the club this season. McDermott again, this time to Christian Poole, oh, he's top edged that. Straight up in the air, simple catch for Cameron Trask. Christian Poole out for one. Just watch, watching the replay, Christian trying to dispatch Alistair McDermott over mid-wicket. Leading edge, simple catch. Early wicket, Christian Poole makes his way to the bar. Peter George, and he comes, Ryan Broad, wonderful shot. Back over the top, into the long off boundary. Three bounces, four. Peter George again to Broad. Broad gets under that, squeezes it. Not as good a shot as earlier, but managed to get the maximum four runs anyway. Taking to George here a little. George again into Broad. 
Slow ball bowls him. What a magnificent delivery by Big Georgie. Completely bamboozles Dagger, and Dagger makes his way after a pretty entertaining innings. You just see him roll his fingers over that one in the middle and leg. A great delivery by the great Peter Georges, the legend skipper, Ryan Broad departs. Jason Floros now. And he comes, the nice quicker ball, Benny Lachlan dispatches him. Oh, hang on, it hasn't got the legs. Alex Melville takes a great catch looking into the sun. Benny's got a fair bit of that. It's gone a long way, but a bit too much elevation. As you can see, Alex looking into the sun and holds a very well-judged catch. Benny a bit disappointed with that. Would have loved to put on a show for the boys today. Cameron Trask now. Bowls to Gertz. Gertz a top edge. Over the keeper's head for four. Not very well controlled, but doesn't say that in the scorebook. Trask to Gertz. And that's a nick and he's on his way. Lovely delivery by Trasky. Probably a little bit too much pace. Gertzy going for the big cover drive and gets a nick. Let's have a look at it again. Gets the nick. Inner King's gloves. Nick King looking fantastic with the gloves early in the season. Gertz disappointed, but he'll be here. Scoring runs for the Seagulls throughout the season. No doubt a bumper season ahead for him. Chris Lloyd now. Up to Craig Thomas. Ah, oh, Tomo. How good is he? He hasn't lost any of his touch, and it goes into the all-fix fasteners sign. A little bit of a plug for the sponsors there. Alex Melville now with his left armers. Stone running at him, can't help himself. Terrible shot from Stoney. Straight up, Prowse takes the catch. As you can see, Stoney not being able to control himself against the slower bowlers. We've seen that a thousand times before. Straight up in the air, easy catch for Prowse. Stoney makes his way off. Little disappointed, but he'll be back later when the one day has arise. Lutzi, Lutzi to Tomo, Tomo, oh, what a catch by Georgie. Tomo got a good piece of it. He's tried to plonk him over the mid off. Pretty hard to beat the two metre Peter at mid off though. Straight into the mitts. Tomo not happy, but he'll be joining Christian Poole at the bar as well. He won't be too disappointed with that. Melville again. Melville, well bowled. Oh, it's gone straight up. It's Ryan Poole's play. Oh, no, it's fallen in no man's land. Bit of laughter from Toddy O'Rourke, the umpire, as we watch it land safely. Will Prowse right-armed. What's that from St Stino's got some sort of bat on that, and it's gone down to the fence for four, using the 1990 Kookaburra bubble. Prowse again. Ryan Poole this time. Oh, whacked him in the leg. King, nothing going on here. Hang on a second, he's run him out. Poole dawdling down the wicket. Nick King picks it up on the replay. Poole looking around, what's he doing? He's just standing there as King hits the stumps and sends him packing. He's got a grin, but he won't be happy with that. He wanted to put on a show himself today. Another one for the bar. Getting full the bar now. Prowse into Carlson. Carlson takes the bottom hand off the bat and whacks him away for four down into the pickets. Steen Carlson hasn't lost his touch. Agnew with his leggies. Well, that's rubbish. Steen Carlson put the... No, top edge. Straight to Trasky at backward point. A terrible shot, really. Terrible ball. Ordinary cricket all round, really. Let's have a look. Under edge, bottom hand off the bat. Straight up. Should have been put away for four, as I said. Steen won't be happy with that. We've seen better from the big man on this field before. Great to have him back. Toddy O'Rourke checking his numbers. Who's he got? Oh, hang on, he's watching the replay from his poor decision for Trasky earlier. Prowse now with the left arm showing his ambidexterity. Gets Tim Evans with a wild swing. That'll be one spoken about after the game in the dressing sheds. As we see Tim Evans coming down the pitch, a big slog. King with great gloves whips him off and you're in the book, mate. He's smiling now, Tim, but he hasn't had a great day, really. It's been hard with the ball, hard with the bat. He'll win at the bar. Prowse. Prowse bowls to Presswich. Unbelievable shot from Presto. Really, the man has so many talents. Wonderful to watch. Four runs to Presto to get him off the mark. Steely Dan now. Steely. Down the ground off Agnew. One, two, three, four, five bounces into the fence. Steely pulling out the bat from the cupboard that hasn't seen daylight for 20 years. Agnew to Presswich. Full bunger. He's put that one away. 
Put that one away, four runs. Fantastic shot from Presto. Here to entertain for the day. Prowse again, left arm, Steely. Steely comes down and, yeah, we'll see that in the uh, highlights reel, that's four. Steely moves his score along nicely. Agnew still bowling, heavens knows why. Full bunger to Presswich, and that's disappeared. That's in the net, straight over the Lindor's construction logistics sign. They'll be happy to see their name in the highlights reel. Agnew, press switch. Well, this is just getting embarrassing, really. The Legends could win from here if Agnew stays on for much longer. A couple of balls left, but too many to win. Agnew reverting to some absolute rubbish. Press switch down the ground. He's on his face. Hang on a second. He's put it over cover for six. Amazing talents from Scotty Presswich. Not only whacking it over cover for six, but picking him up from the turf. Agnew, press switch. Gives it the, what it deserves. Straight on the roof of the clubhouse, over to soccer. We'll see that ball in another couple of weeks to come. Agnew trying to finish this over. Another terrible delivery. Should stick to batting the young lad, because that's six more. Side screen copping a peppering. Hopefully the last ball of the innings. Let's hope Agnew can land this one. In he comes, another full bunger and press, which gives it everything. That's about 40 off this over. But Presto is showing just how strong the man really is. And that's it. End of the innings for the Legends team. A wonderful effort by them to try and keep up with first grade. But I'm afraid on the day, the first grade side, as you'd expect, just a little too good. Handshakes all around, adjourning to the dressing room. And it's wonderful to see players of past and present back and involved at our club. Great to have them here. To finish the day, guys, we're here with our uh, man of the match, uh, Scott Presswich, legend of the club, life member, and someone that uh, obviously all the young kids are aspiring to be like these days. It was great to see you hitting a long ball and bowling like you'd never changed, Presto. How did you find it today? Uh, good fun, great fun, um, especially the one where I fell over. That was uh, interesting. Spike got stuck in the pitch and away I went, so no, it was a really good day. You're certainly hitting the ball long and uh, probably not the longest I've seen you hit here today. Back in your day, you were hitting them well and truly up onto the roost, but uh, what about some of the uh, first grade bowlers that were out there today? You reckon they've? What, what do you reckon they've got this season in line from? Uh, well, you've got Georgie and Alistair, so you've got a pretty good opening attack there. So uh, you know what cricket's like; it's all about getting off to a good start. So if your two big heavyweights can get early wickets, it sort of sets a day up. So I reckon Alistair and Georgie are the two keys. Excellent here, and the batting lineup as well. Anyone in the batting lineup imp impress you? Uh, I'm a big fan of Trasky, so I think Trasky can play for Queensland. Uh, I know he's close, but um, I really hope he really knuckles down, works hard, because I reckon he'll, get, he'll go close this year. So what you're telling me, you're in around QC, batting for Trasky every opportunity you can? I'm always dropping Trasky's name. Do you even know who Trasky is? Uh, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> oh, wrong. No, fantastic. I hope you enjoyed yourself, Presto. So thanks very much, mate, and uh, that's all from us. Thank you.